So this is our, it's the third, our third tour, right? Third tour of four. Oh, yeah. uh, as I'm here, uh, now it's too spinning. Too spinning, that's it? Yeah, um, well, the truth is, we were actually really um, worried about this tour. Because uh, last tour, uh, there was such a great, um, just feedback from everybody, from all the fans, and everybody said, pressure preparing this tour um, so I think we went through like I think it was like a month a whole entire month we were deciding what songs we should be doing and stuff like that so um, we put a lot of time and a lot of effort and uh, a lot of thought into this tour so we hope you guys enjoyed it today
face. My voice is also half gone. It was worse earlier, but I'm back from the concert. It was so, it was so amazing. The guys, like, they outdid themselves. And when I tell you they look better in person than they do in pictures and videos, they, wow, like, they truly do. I was lucky enough to meet another fan who was here for their concert solely and just so happened that uh, I met her at the uh, front desk of the hotel. So we ended up going together. We were literally sitting like, she was sitting two rows in front of me, two, three seats over it. It was great, like she's so cool and super down to earth. And so it was nice. I didn't feel by myself. My anxiety wasn't, wasn't too bad. It was still pretty, pretty intense, but it wasn't bad, as bad as it has been the last 24 hours. So yeah, it was great. I loved the concert. I took a lot of pictures, recorded some of the songs, some of the performances. It's gonna be the wrong way. But yeah, it was pretty amazing. We're gonna go out to breakfast in the morning and then I head out. Due to, to anxiety, I just, I can't stay another night up here so i'm gonna go home I don't know if i'm meeting my friend up we will see i don't know if i'm gonna go shopping either <laughs> just because i check out at i'm gonna check out at like 11 30 12 and i wouldn't be able to see her until six which is when she gets up six ish and it takes about four or five hours for me to get home so llegar de madrugada tampoco I don't really want to do that because I wouldn't have a way home and I refuse to take Uber or Lyft. The Chipotle that I bought Wednesday for dinner, I had only taken three bites out of it because of my anxiety. It's now almost one. So I did have some for lunch Thursday, which was yesterday. And then right now I'm finishing it up. Literally, this could probably last me four meals if I was staying, you know, in this hotel and just needing more food. But I'm gonna try to finish it tonight. Still don't really have much of an appetite, but yeah. So I will try to vlog sometime tomorrow, probably before I leave. And then, you know, we will see. If they have another concert next year, I will be here for that. Probably do like this girl that I met today and do come in the day of the concert and then just leave the following morning. Oh, sorry, the following morning. Hopefully, if they do it here in Jersey, if they do it in New York, maybe I could convince someone to go with me because clearly me being by myself as good as it is it's just way too much anxiety for me to deal with and it's not good however i do think that this trip was a success regardless because i did go to the concert and i did enjoy it very very much it made me so happy so happy to see them live so happy to see them up close i've been a fan since their debut just kind of watched them from afar listened to their songs recently i like started buying their songs on itunes and watching more of their stuff and now i was able to go to their concert i wanted to go get some more makeup from the korean stores there's a cleo store in new york there is face shop and there was an and there was innisfree and as much as i want to go I don't know how bad my anxiety will be. So, until tomorrow.